So hello everyone, welcome again. And this video, we are going to continue the session uh, that we have finished yesterday. So uh, in this series, we are going to develop a, uh, a Spring Boot application, a Spring Boot project web application from scratch. And let's have a quick recap that we have done till now. So I'm going to run the application again. I think we have in the last session we have done with registration process and in this session we are going to add some validation as well as try to finish the login process so i'm running my server that's running on 8080 so this quick recap what we have done till now so this is the home page sign up and login and when i move to the sign up fill some dummy data submit the data user registered successfully that we have done already and as we press the table I can see the records over there. So now, what's the issue? Let's suppose I'm going to, uh, Nicole, I'm going to fill up and register with this user, same with same user again. So it's again going to register, but duplicate, it's storing the duplicate emails. That should not allow. Even if I enter nothing in this field, it will give a registration. So it's showing uh, it's a storing a null value, so it should not allow. So how can we add this validations in Spring Boot? And in this session, we are going to cover these things. So let's just start and I'm going to closing my other IDs. Okay. So here, the first thing uh, for that, I have need to go to the user form section. And here, what I need to add, I need to add annotation node empty and the message will be here we can say first name is required okay similarly for all other fields we can say uh, similar round of classes as first name is required for email also we can say for password also we can say and the phone number so just change the first message so here we need to say the phone number is required so I say phone number is required. Here we can say the password is required. So first we are giving a null. So we are adding a constraint here uh, for the null values. Okay. In the form section. After that, we will just bind it and it should work. Okay. The last name. So just change it as a last name. So changes are done into the form and here this constraints are coming from this the validation dot unconstrained package. And here the next thing, next thing is we need to do into the controller section while we adding the data. So where we adding the data, we are adding the data here. Here, the first thing what I need to do, I need to check uh, binding. So binding result and uh, we can say binding result so first i'm going to add a try catch and then we'll continue this so try catch and here we can say we have one exception that we handling record not found exception so here we have this exception record not found and in this exception we will add some checks so right away and some time First, we have this binding result. So what this binding result is going to do, whatever the data is coming from the current time, it will bind the data with this form and validate all the data here. So we'll check if this binding result has errors. In this case, it will return to at same page and so that's those errors. Else, into the else part, we are going to perform this operation, okay? Uh, that we performed yesterday. So if uh, there is no error, then it will add the data to the database. Okay, here, what we can say, we can add the model as an error, model.add attributes, and we can add some errors if in case of any error. We can say, Add attribute and here the message will be error and you can say e dot get message set fine and also we can add a 
g.printStack so it will print the error message in case of any error it will give us a message okay apart from that is anything is missing okay here we need to edit it as a valid so the tag will be the capital B we can say from the validation we can call this valid okay that's it I uh, let's try to run it now I think the changes are done and uh, when I go here the sign up page and click to the submit showing me error right and uh, what we are doing we have to keep it in the first priority line before the model because model is sending a response right i think this time should work when i refresh the page we submit that is fine that's showing me the other messages and if i trying to fill up this form as a uh, blank page is showing me the first name is required and the four other fields uh, last name is required and for the email also we can add if the user is not going to add any email it will say email is required for the password also they say password is required so in this way we can add the checks over there now but uh, it, uh, let me walk through what we have done till now so what we have done into the user form we have added the constraints and then into the controller section we have uh, created a binding results object and that uh, we have checked the results if there is an uh, anything error and it has any error then it will return to the page and show that errors now um we have to add one more check uh, for the duplicate uh, emails like duplicate users should not be registered let's say uh, currently if i fill up this form and i registered with this so this is my email and it's registered into the database if you notice here and but if i register with the same user again it will register okay so that's not a good thing so what we need to do we need to add a check over the email if user is already exists then it should not allow to register that user again okay so for that here we are adding the data and in this add data we are in the service class and user service yes it is user service we are adding this data so we can do here one thing into the DAO. yesterday we have created and last session we have created um, uh, methods find by email so this method will be useful now so let's create a uh, user dto one user dto user dto udto equals to what we are going to do we are going to take user DAO. We are going to take the help of user DAO and we are going to talk to the database and find our email, find the user user information by its email. And from where this information will come from this user object. So user dot get email. Now if this you this email will be available into the database, then it will give us a valid result. Otherwise, it will give a null value when when we need to add the data in case of none only so if user dto equals to equals to null then we can save this we can fire uh, we can call this method okay otherwise then we can define another user dto the null user dto is okay we can say user dto equals to null and we're going to assign this this value and this is going to return from here right okay if null it will save otherwise else it will throw through new no, sorry new we have one exception record not found so we can uh, technically there should be a like technically there should be a method or there should be exception record not found but we are um, duplicate exception but we have one in our exception record not found so i'm using this one to pass a message so this message will say 
email is already this email is already registered right okay now okay now i think it's good and into the controller section uh, we are going to use a try page yes and do the try page we will get this message at the error and then get message we are handling the exception that's fine let's try it now so i'm going to try to register with the same mail and it says you didn't not return a unique result okay fine so because we have this duplicate records over there so i'm going to just drop my database for now or i can delete some records then i can use but i'm just going to run it first so i just drop it and why we are getting this error because we have uh, duplicate data and data in a wrong format in our database that's why it's creating problem so i'm going to restart my server so it will create database again in a correct form and then we will continue so i just rerun the server and when i rerun the server it's just starting again on 8080 actually it takes times to start okay let's just start it now if i go here and run it again sign up um let's say i'm trying to submit a blank page it's showing me your first name and this name is required let's say i'm going to add some data so data is registered successfully i'm going to submit the same data again. then it say email is already registered it's nice if I check this, I have added data two times, but showing only once. Now, if I change this email, then it will save the data. User is registered successfully. Now, if I try to save this email again, say email is already registered. So, in this way, we can add the. Uh, also, if you check the console, it will give you another message over there because we are printing it. The email is already registered, so in the console also we are getting this message because we are printing a print stake over here. Okay, so in this way we can add the validations over there. Okay, probably in the next section, uh, we will try to cover the login process, then we'll move to other sections of the project. So till now we have done registration completely and uh, it's working fine. In the next session, we will cover the login. And I will think about it what in, in, in what direction should we move. If you're liking the video, please subscribe the Code One channel. If you want more videos on a real-time development, we'll try to make more videos and it's, it's really take hard to record the safe live session on the development. So please uh, subscribe it and drop a message if you are facing any issues so we can uh, try to cover up the errors as well over there. Thank you for watching.